What up, peoples? Today is Saturday. It's 29 degrees outside. It's almost 9 a.m. We're going over to TJ's house. Um, we're going to go install some rock lights, a tow hitch, and there's something else. Some lighting things that we're putting on this JK Wrangler. So we're going to uh, go get some breakfast right now. Shoot over there. He's about a half hour from here. Um, we'll go see what's cooking up in his garage. This should be fun today because uh, I never really work on like off-road stuff. It's always like cars or little cars or race cars and I don't know. It'll be fun to work on a little off-road vehicle and put some lighting, <clears throat> some lighting effects on it. So off to Wallingford we go. Let's go. Well, we made it. What up, dog? What up, dog? Welcome no. to Wally World. Wally World. Wally World. Look at this Jeep. This thing is sick. 2015. It's murdered. Willie's edition. Yes. Got the old school cranks. Oh, no. yeah. Weight reduction. Weight reduction. Sick. What size are these tires? Uh, 315, sir. 35. They look huge in person. Had to cut the front bumper after everybody said you didn't have to. Yeah, but... <laughs> that's in the shed somewhere. Because when I had it on, I could only turn the wheel maybe two inches, but... I didn't even notice. It looks like It does look like She got hit. some nice pods up here. I bought these same ones. They were on the that, uh, Jixxer cart. Oh yeah, <laughs> Amazon special. Hell yeah, got the front one. So this is the box that you bought to run the new lights. This thing makes it nice and clean and safe. There's no wiring issues. Back to the We got two open ports that are already there to run the new rock lights that are gonna go up inside here. And I think they're gonna get mounted over here somewhere. We're gonna see, we gotta measure this stuff out. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is put the tow hitch. So, we got all the parts laid out on the table. Here's the rock lights. They'll be going in the fenders. Those are from Rough Country? Oh, uh, yes sir. Nice, got all the weatherproof harness. And then the lights that we're gonna mount on the tow hitch. Got the TV going, got my man Quint. Sorry. PBR all day. Crush the can. <laughs> crush, we're gonna crush one for Quinn after this install. Only way to do it. Dude, man. look at that box, it matches your Jeep perfect. Alright, man, don't give my secret though. <laughs> exactly. Oh, top, top drawer Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Little bed spot. This is the magic drawer right here. Oh, damn. Blingo, blango. We're only ratchet in this house. <laughs> Alright, so this is my digital disclaimer. We're not Jeep forum moderators. We don't do this all the time. I've never done this, he's never done this. We work on, you know, stuff as we go and we learn it as we go. And we're not gonna act like we're pros and we know what we're doing because we don't. So, he's already under there now. We're gonna start measuring this out. And by the way, this is in no shape or form a how-to video. Cause like I said, we don't know what the fuck we're doing here. We're just gonna jump right in and we're just gonna see what happens. It can't be that hard. We're not pros, we don't work on Jeeps all the time, but there's really not that much to installing some lights in a tow hitch. But you know how it goes, 20 minute job usually turns into like five hours, so. See ya at dinner. See ya at dinner time. Always clean up your messes. Yeah, because it makes it easier if they were just there. Correct. All right, let's try this too. It might. Just trying to find the hole. That's the story of say. our lives. That's what they say, put some hair around it. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. That shit has no give. No. All right, let's take the bumper off. I believe it's two, four, six, eight bolts. All right, bumper's coming off. 
coming off. Friendly reminder, don't always lay under your hands. Unless you have eye protection on. Yep. Eye protection. COVID season. You got bottle caps over there. Where at? <laughs> For other tow hitch users, what have you put on your tow hitch? Yeah, drop a comment below. Let us know what you use. Where'd you get this one from? Good old Amazon. Amazon Prime. Right, it's here in two days. Yep. Who else is using what? Did you use the fancy one or did you guys get it on Amazon? <laughs> yeah. And if you got the fancy one, did you have to take your bumper off to install it? That's a good question, right? That is a good question because I've seen the ones, like I said, the fancy ones have the nuts tacked on and kudos to whoever lady or gentleman did that. Genius, because <laughs> I guess that extra 50 bucks saves you the time of yeah, exactly. uh, taking your bumpers off. You should work at a body shop. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> It's a little chilly down here on the ground. Coming yeah. back up for your bones and immune system. <laughs> At least this thing's not covered in salt. Yeah. Looks like you take care of it. Except don't look at the paint on the dip. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I believe Mopar made a factory kit for like eight grand for four-door Jeeps to, for JKUs to convert to a truck. So you got like mini half doors, a bunch of body work. Um, and that looks dope to me. I like the short, stubby truck. Hopefully I'll get a Ford Ranger old school there one day. Flat black. What's that? Flat black. Flat black. Black Steelies. Black Steelies. 35s, maybe, again. Let's do it the right way. Guess I'm not a good talker and uh, doer. So everywhere I've seen, they put the bolts in from this way. Always drop them in from this side in that other hitch. Like I mentioned, has the nuts tack welded. That's the right method, right? I don't know what these are being torqued at, so. Four Ogadugas. Once a battery light goes down, that's how you know it move on the next. A hitch grill. It swings out, it's like 400 bucks. You put the hitch in. Put the grill on the hitch, and it literally sits here, and you tilt it out, bro, and you have a mobile grill. Another good tip when impacting is when you see the paint fall off, you're good. And factory JK bumpers, because they do come with a hitch Look at that. from the factory. You got a nice little cutout. Damn, you got to put the Porto shitter on there. <laughs> yeah, right. The toilet seat with the with the two inch hitch that just slides in, so you can just pull over on the side of the road and take a dump. Right. <sighs> That's what Jeep life is all about: grilling, <laughs> shitting in the woods. What's that? Time to sit down, take a break. <laughs> mm. <sighs> How's it going on today? It's going. The bolts are turning. Don't cross thread them. Cross thread detected. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter if it's torque to spec or cross threaded. Tight is tight. I hate working on other people's cars because every time I do it, especially if it's a car that I like, I end up sitting here, end up going on like Facebook Marketplace and looking for that car, seeing if it's for sale, seeing how much I can get one for. I don't know. Now I'm going to be looking for Wranglers for the rest of the night or trying to trade my Evo for one. I want one with like 37s on it, but shit. Something like this will definitely do. Crush it like Quint. Where is he? There he is. There he is. I feel like if you put yeah. the wrong one in, it cracks it. I mean, you can always buy a new one. Nice little pigtail harness. I don't know what that's for. Probably my rear windshield wiper. Maybe this way. It doesn't work or the fluid. I don't know. And, uh,. Drop it down, and then plug it into the lights and wire it up. There it is. Now, chill. Really run this up. Zip 
tie it off to the bar so it stays out of the way. I'm gonna plug in everything now. So wire harness comes with the light attachment and bring power and lights to the hitch. So I'm just gonna do the good old male to female. Male to female, that's set. Tuck this back in. Wiring's done. Let's see if we can see up there. It's all the nice and clean. Touch. Yep, the final the touch. You're gonna put the plug in the. He's gonna put the butt plug in. Uh, it's a square. Which way does it go? Nobody told me. Done. Done. Ready to tow. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on to the reverse lights. Um, Simple, single LED bars. Um, come with all the hardware. However, they come with machine bolts that uh, where I'm mounting them, I don't think I could really use, so I just have a Some self -tappers. nice little self-tappers that I'm just gonna put into the the bar down there drilling some metal, so uh, let's see what we got. So, I'm no weatherman, but a couple inches. <laughs> That's like about six on the nose. So measurements are taken? Measurements are taken. I threw out, you know, six, eight, nine, blah, blah, blah. Um, Two, at, six, four, niner. Yeah, niner. Um, I'm probably gonna aim for the middle of the frame to start drilling the holes. This one should be okay. So I'll try 732nd if I could send it home. Send it home. Safety goggles on? Safety goggles on, even though I'm drilling away, but I like to at least start it. I don't have a tap set. This fits probably uh, for only good for paper, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm just gonna pre put these little. Um, tabs on these wires. I don't want to connect it to the harness yet because I got to still bolt them up, but brackets are on, just Allen heads, nuts. Um, have the mobility to move them. I'll tighten them down with this Allen key once I like the spot. Um, but I'm just gonna put these on quick and uh, we'll throw them in to the holes we just drilled. Tight like a glove. Like OJ glove. <laughs> yeah. This is like playing that game Doctor. Yeah. Which I fucking sucked at. I just have to finesse this around and the so nuts. You find turn. The hole. Yeah, the nuts turning, which is cool. The nuts not supposed to turn, but you know. You gotta get it in there and catch your nut. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing like sending it to the wrong hole. That's right. That's why there's three to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Fuck! Hey, you're He's not up. supposed to swear, man. This is a family-oriented channel. Sorry. <gasps> Earmuffs. Yeah. When you upload a video now, YouTube gives you the option. Oh, uh, I solemnly swear that this video is suitable for children by signing here and I swear to and, God. <laughs> and, ex and accepting the terms and conditions you certify that this video is suitable for children to watch. It's like, Jesus, dude, it's a car channel. If there's a fucking kid watching this thing. He's Either probably he's, the coolest kid on the block. He's probably the coolest kid on the block or he's like, like, how did I even get to this video? Yeah. The kids are watching reviews on like Xbox. They don't want to see this, this kind of shit. Yeah. This is for us guys having midlife crisis at 30 years old. That's it. Is this a Justin Bieber punk goes pop cover? <laughs> it sounds like it. The beeps. The beeps. That looks good. I like the angle too. These things are gonna look sweet. 
Time to wire them up. Gonna bring one probably to the furthest away, this to the closer one, and then just send this puppy to my pod switch. So like I said, I replaced those pre-made connectors with just good old butts, get some electrical tape on it. Sound like that guy from Hocus Pocus. How about a butt? Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Best 90s movies characters all time though. Sticky bandits. Oh yeah, Home Alone. It was Marv. Marv and what's the other one's name? Harry. Harry and Marv. The Sticky Bandits. Wow. What, what a hole. hole. <laughs> All right, so those backlights are mounted up. The wires are all run, zip tied up nice. We just have the main harness that's hanging right now because we're going to get ready to install the rock lights that go in here in the wheel well. So we're going to get those mounted up first and then uh, we'll run the harness at the same time back to the engine bay. So he's got the harness right here. Yeah, there's the rock light harness. And, uh, I'm just going to start running that now. Yeah, we're going to run that up to the front. And then I mean, we're going to run it from the front to the back. That way everything is there. So as soon as we get ready to drill these things in, it's just going to be a matter of plugging them in. All right, so I'm going to bring my bulk cables. So I have these are factory black and reds tied off for the rock lights. Um, this is a spare cabling I'm using because um, I need more of it to get to the reverse lights we just put in. Um, so it's a three conductor. I'm just going to cut the blue one back and just use the white for my positive and black for my negative just so I could get some more length to hit those reverse lights. Um, to come up this way, hide them behind. Had him behind my fender. On the inside of the heat shield. Gonna just tuck him behind it if we could get to it. Not just farthest away from the exhaust, obviously. Damn, bro, I am some retard. <gasps> what the fuck? We did it like that, so this came here. Oh, um, why not, right? So, here we go. Screw one. Perfect. Okay. Now onto the passenger side. Yep. We had to take the air box out on this side so we could run this wire through. You can see right there in the corner. I had to connect that. So I'll have to put this back together after because it's bad luck to put the car back together before it's done. Especially wiring. Especially wiring. Driver's side mounted up. We didn't film drilling it in because the process has been a little complicated with running these wires, and there's only so much I can do with holding this camera at the same time. Yeah, so, so we kind of jumped the gun. Yeah, we jumped the gun on that and just just set it up the best that we could because uh, it's difficult to to film and do at the same time. So this one, I'm getting a little creative. I'm just Popped out this grommet that was has been popped out. Just gonna fish the wire through there and then mount it somewhere, something like that. I also am too lazy to pop the tire off, so. Everything's run nice, tight, along the EVAP lines, and it's out into the fender lines, both sides. Now, you just gotta make those connections at the front. We're gonna get ready to try these things out. Oof. That's a lot. Almost there, buddy. Almost there, buddy. Almost there. One at a time. Bring these up. Try to hide the wires as best as we could for that uh, OEM look. Nothing says I did a good job installing something <laughs> like ending up with third degree burns when a car burns to the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All 
All right, so these are in. This is annoying me, these spades are not matching, but that's my fault. <laughs> Everything's wired in, lights are in place. Uh, let's give it a, let's let's give it a go and see what it looks right. like. So that's our original bumper light. Front Ooh. beams are on. Looks like my windshield still are good. Yep, let's the hood try the uh, rock lights. Whoa, whoa. Look at those. Yeah, these look good, dude. My driver's sides are on. Those are on. Yeah, these are on. Everything's on over here. How's the back? Are the backs on? Or are you, oh, you didn't uh, put them on yet. Try to reverse. Boom. Boom. Those, those are, are bright those too. Are bright too for just being. They are inside. That looks right good. Inside. So they all come on. Let me just kill them all. And all should be off. Bam. And you got everything hooked up on the pod right here. Yep. So. Let me see. Let's see how you work these things. There she goes. That cool. looks like it's it, man. We just got to put the air box back in because I didn't want to jinx myself and probably yeah. a good sign we didn't. But uh, going to put her back together and uh, maybe uh, shut the hood and turn them on again see if they work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's it for this video. We cool. wrapped it up in how long was it? Like five hours? It's a five uh, hour. Uh, two and a half. <laughs> yeah, two, two and, and a half. half. Two and a half. And what, that's the time you tell your wife how long it took. But right. yeah, no, thanks for uh, stopping it by. It looks good. Checking out. It looks good. This thing came out sick. I can't wait to see what it looks like at nighttime because obviously inside the light doesn't do it any justice. But the rock lights, lighting up the wheel wells, and you got the pods up here. The sick light bar in the front. And now you got a tow hitch. Yep, for that grill. Yep, you got the hitch and the lights out back working. That was a little bit of a fail. <laughs> Tried to shoot the outro with uh, with the cannon and it actually just died at the end when I was showing the lights. So we're gonna finish it up with the GoPro. TJ already busted out the PBR. We're gonna we're gonna kick one back after our hours of labor. We're gonna crush it like Quint. The Quint. Need a bigger this boat. The, this is the Quint. That's the Quint. Yeah, you need a bigger boat. If you liked working on Jeeps, or you got a Jeep, and this video helped you at all, which it probably didn't, because we didn't, <laughs> we didn't do there shit. There was no manual. There was no there. manual. There was nothing. We just did it on the fly. So we just do this for fun. Just like a lot of people out there, they don't know what the fuck they're doing either. So if you're one of those people and you like watching these videos, cheers to you. Cheers. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll tell keep the content friends, coming. Like, yeah, tell your friends with Jeeps that if they want to put some rock lights in, <laughs> they got to watch this video first so they know what they're in for. So, yeah, we're going to clean this place up and get out of here. And, uh, well, I'm going to get out of here and go home. And that's it. So, we'll right. see you on the next video. Say bye. Thanks, guys. Later. Later.